Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. Today GoPro launched a brand new accessory for the Hero 9 and Hero 10 Black. It's called the Volta and basically this is a battery hand grip but it also functions as a tripod and a remote. Now although it is stated to be used with the Hero 9 or 10 Black, it can be used with older GoPros as well. You just won't be able to use the remote function. You'll just be able to use it as a power bank handle which can come in quite useful. So let's go ahead here, we'll take it out of the box and we will take a look at it. Now as stated this was released today officially from GoPro uh, but it was available for purchase in the last couple days. I ordered mine yesterday right from the GoPro website and it arrived today here in Canada. So that was pretty quick shipping from the US to Canada. We've got some user manuals there. We have a thumb screw. We have a USB-C pass-through door and I'll show you what that's for here in a second. We have a charging cable here and here we have the unit itself. So basically what this is, this is a power bank handle that you attach to your GoPro either by itself or you can use it in conjunction with the media mod and it's going to keep your GoPro powered a lot longer. There's a 4900 milliamp battery inside GoPro claims you can film for over four hours when filming at 5.3k at 30 frames per second. You can see we have a power cord that's built right into it that plugs into the back or the side of the GoPro depending on how you have it mounted. Right below that we have a USB-C charging port. There's also some controls here on the front that can connect to your GoPro Hero 9 Black or Hero 10 Black. We have a record button, we have a battery power indicator when we press that you can see it'll light up and show us how much power is left in it and it'll also show us what mode we're in. We have a Bluetooth button beside that for connecting to the GoPro and at the bottom here we have a mode button for changing the various modes. At the top we have a finger mount that we connect the GoPro to and this actually swivels depending on how you want your GoPro orientated. On the other side here we have another finger mount that's tucked away. We can bring them out by pressing that button. You can see that there. So that allows you to mount this thing on things like backpacks, suction cups, basically any type of GoPro mount. And to put it away again, you just press in the button and it will lock back in. The other nice thing, it does fold out into a tripod as you can see there. So that's good if you want to set it down to capture a time lapse or if you're going to be doing some vlogging and you just want to set the camera down and face yourself. It'll work definitely well for that. So let's go ahead here and we're going to hook our GoPro to it and we'll test it out. Now there is one important thing you need to be aware of that there was a firmware update released yesterday for the Hero 10 Black version 1.4 I believe. Now that firmware update fixes a few bugs but it also makes the Hero 10 Black compatible with the Volta. Again if you have the Hero 9 Black there's a firmware update that you'll need to download as well. So to use it correctly we're going to take the door off and the reason being is we're going to attach the pass-through door that they include. And what this does, it allows you to plug your GoPro in and it will still remain weatherproof. There's a rubber seal inside there that will help seal it. Now it's not waterproof anymore, you can't go underwater with this unit. But if you get some rain on it, some moisture, or perhaps some mud, that won't damage it as it is weatherproof. So then we're just going to attach the GoPro like we normally would. And then we'll plug in the power cable. And just like that there, you can see it's actually charging up the GoPro as we speak. So as mentioned, as you can see, we have all the controls conveniently at our fingertips. And depending on whether you're filming stuff out in front of you, or if you're going to be vlogging, you can see you can spin it around and still have full control of the buttons. So I'm going to power it on here and we'll see what we need to do to get it connected. As you can see there, it's already updating the Volta. I haven't done any connections, so it must connect it through the, uh, through the cable here. And right away you can see that popped up without me doing anything. It's asking us to set up a Bluetooth connection and that way we can use this as a wireless remote because you can disconnect your GoPro and have it mounted elsewhere and use this as a remote up to 98 feet. As you can see we can flip through the different modes. We can stop and start recording. So you can see we have the camera disconnected and as mentioned you can now use this as a remote. As you can see here we can switch through the different modes and we can stop and start recording or take a photo. As mentioned, it is fully compatible with the media mod. If you're using the media mod, you don't have to use that USB-C pass-through door. And then with it, all you do is plug the USB-C cable into the power port on the back of the media mod. And as you can see there, it's now powering it. Top it off with the little light that GoPro sells, and now you've got yourself a nice little vlogging rig. Now you can buy the Volta separately. I believe it's 129 US dollars. And of course, if you have a GoPro subscription, you will get your discount on that. But today they also launched a new GoPro package called the Creators Edition, and it comes with some pretty significant discounts. So you can pick this whole kit up with the Hero 10 Black, the Media Mod, 
a light, and their new battery hand grip for just a little over $500. I'm not sure of the exact price. So that's actually a pretty good deal. If you have been thinking of getting a GoPro for vlogging or other projects, then definitely maybe now is the time. Now, one thing I do want to mention here that I forgot to mention earlier on in the video, the whole grip here has kind of like a rubbery coating to it, except at the top, that's more of a plastic. But that whole grip there is very rubbery so you can get a nice grip on it. It's not going to slip out of your hands. A setup like this would be perfect for vloggers or any application where you just want to get some extended recording time. As mentioned with that extra GoPro mount that folds out, you can mount this on a suction cup in your car if you're going to be doing any kind of drive lapses. Mount it on a backpack if you're doing some hiking. You can even mount this right on something like a motorcycle or a mountain bike if you just want some extra recording time and still have a unit that's going to be weatherproof. Might be a good option for those who like to create star lapses or night lapses overnight because you could mount that directly right on a tripod and that should feed it sufficient power to get through the night. And then of course you have the bonus of it being weatherproof so if you do get a little bit of a rain overnight or a heavy dew it's not going to damage the internal components. Well folks that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.